afternoon, everyone. This is Jared Rand, and welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for November 20th, 2019, 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we're going to, uh, the call tonight, we're going to address uh, the Time for Change holiday call tonight. It's going to address the reason we call it holiday because it's the holidays. So um, we're going to address uh, international uh, people who want access to the liquid gold. And we're going to address that. We, I think we have a, a solution and the purpose of this is that we want to get this out to everybody we can uh, because of its properties and what it does uh, for the human body. So uh, we've figured out a way that we think we can uh, at least uh, get the product to people uh, that could really use it, uh, that don't have access to it because the company is so young only 20 weeks uh, that it's uh, it doesn't have international capabilities um, so it's only available here in the US so I wanted to let everybody know that that we're going to address that and we're going to come up with a, a, a solution until we get to a point where people can actually become activists uh, with the product so I just wanted to address that right off the bat um, going to be discussing uh, health applications for the human body. Uh, we're also going to go into some technologies that have not been discussed yet uh, for people to be aware and have a heads up about. Um, in today's meditation, how many times uh, Honestly, do we celebrate our lives? I mean, we really think about it. You know, we we were so occupied, if you will, with external influences and authorities that, and and just day to day, you know, just 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 in the moment, just working. And the reason that is is because there is really no. That there's really no other way for this civilization to basically ascend. And it's always been up to this civilization. It's not up to civilizations outside the planet. It's up to us. And I think once, I think that, a, that, that some of us have come to that realization, not as a burden, but as a, uh, an eye-opener and a, a celebration, kind of, to discover the fact that, you know, I am, I am the God. And I am Source. And I have the Kingdom of God within me. I mean, that, that's celebration. That's exuberation, to know that. It isn't ego-driven. It is just unknowing of who and what we are. So, you know, it's like, for me to see and experience the rest of my brothers and sisters on this planet, in it, above it, below it, to be in, in perpetual joy and peace and to know who and what they are, and, and that's that's for everyone. Now, obviously, we can, we're not able to. Uh, you, you don't force or coerce or do anything like that with other people. It, it's going to be up to them. But as we progress, each of us, at our own pace, we begin to embrace the, uh, the, the true understanding of the fact that we are the God. And see, all of this dogma that has been infiltrated and put onto this civilization. And some people say, well, that's an, it's an atrocity. Well, maybe in a way it is, 
But in another way, from the flip side, it's a tremendous uh, knowledge base of gaining a tremendous uh, experience, knowledge, and, and the only way we do that is to find who and what we are within ourselves. And a lot of people don't know even how to begin to do that. They think it's squirrely or strange, to say the least. What are you talking about? You know, I go to church, I do this, I do that. And see, it's very difficult for some of us to eliminate that habit of the, the bicameral religious structure on the planet. Does it make any sense to any of you that you, you we've been trained in a matrix by the archons who oversee it all anyway, that we're, we're supposed to pray outside of ourselves to a God in the heavens, okay? When we are the God. And people say, well, how can that be? See, and then here's the guilt that comes in and the undeserving and the fear. When people start to think about that, say, well, that's not good because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm acknowledging myself as the God and I'm not, that's not, you know, there's only one God. Yes, there is. Why do you say, why do you think we, I say we are all one? Okay. And we are all love because there is only one and we make up the one. You see how that is? So. In eventuality, do you honestly believe that source creation created us, but didn't give us any of source creation? <laughs> it does not, it doesn't work that way. The way it works is that source creation is all that there is ever, has been, ever, will be, ever, beyond and forever. We are the same. Say, How do you think that eventually we'll be able to create universes? This muddleness on this planet is an experience for us to understand only when we go within and start understanding who and what we are, see? That's the, that is the key to all of this, knowing ourselves and, and accepting ourselves and not having that fear of ourselves anymore or being hard on ourselves or self-destructive. Uh, you know, a lot of us are really rough on ourselves. We really are. We're rough on our bodies. We're rough on ourselves. You know, we cut ourselves down in, 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 uh, in our conversation. Uh, you know, we, you stupid, why did you do that? You ever had a conversation with yourself, you're doing something, oh, well, this stupid can I be? Instead of being kind and gentle with yourself, because guys, you're all gods. That, and you feel that through the heart mind, not the ego mind. Remember, the ego mind has no way of feeling. It does not feel. It just manufactures thoughts. And the ego accentuates those thoughts in an insatiable des desire to be satisfied, which it never can be. So this is why we move into stillness. This is why we move into the now. These are all practicing steps, connecting the dots for each and every one of us. In, in eventuality, we become masters of ourselves. We don't need external influences. We can govern ourselves. We can lead ourselves. We can think for ourselves. We can create value for ourselves. We can build wealth for ourselves. It's always been there. That's why this incessant archon control for billions of years in this sector of the uh, Mil Milky Way galaxy is a constant to keep us separated from the gods we are. To exist through the ego mind and subconscious mind. 
And you see where that's gotten us. So we celebrate our existence, our lives. I'm not just talking about birthday. I'm talking about celebrating the gods that we are. You know, we have a sacred thing, each of us. And, and there, there's, there's way more reasons to celebrate it. There's way more, many wonderful reasons to celebrate it. And when we say we're, 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 we're co-creators, so we all create. We all create with source creation. So we're basically, we're extensions of source. And we're main manifestors of all of it, everything. We are main manifestors of it all. And the thoughts here is very sensitive. Our thoughts continually are designing our reality in each millisecond. And this is why I'm constantly, and I have people get irritated with me, I've done this for a long time, is that when you say, I don't want, I don't want this to happen, I don't want that to happen, I don't want this, and I don't want that. You don't think about that frequency. You must stop thinking about what, you must start thinking about what you want and then immediately stop thinking about what you don't want. Play, dance, sing, and enjoy being alive. You are, can you see how many of us are nowhere near there that we're constantly worrying, stressing, and fearing about every thought that that ego mind throws at us? And that's why you get the sinking gut feeling. You ever have that? That's because the ego mind has shot thoughts at you and has dick and then because of that, it supervises, it, 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 it oversees the heart mind. And as soon as that thought comes in and you embrace it, the heart mind gives the emotion. That's that sinking gut feeling that we have all had more than once in this life. Allow ourselves to play, dance, sing, enjoy, being alive now, today. Guys, we are the party. We are the party. We are the party. And without us, there is no main attraction. Without us, there's no main attraction. And no matter what those doubting, limiting thoughts may be communicating to you, just remember this one, one fact. The more often you can celebrate every precious day of your life, the bigger the welcome home party you'll have in the end. And I'm sharing this with you for everybody to get ready to let it all hang out. The real fun is just starting. That is absolutely fact. And the more you begin to embrace you, and all this time that I have been sharing with the child imagination inside of us, getting it front and center, washing it, shining it, polishing it, and being kids and enjoying our lives. People say, how do you enjoy your life when you're living in the street and you don't know where to get food? You can start with nothing. Nothing. You can lose everything. And this is where the power of the God that you are shifts into high gear. 
whether you're a veteran at the at the veterans hospitals, what, what whatever you have been challenged with in this life, in the event that you actually embrace the God that you are, and you begin to realize and celebrate, this may sound strange, but those who have lost limbs, be in deep gratitude that you lost the limb. Because you're in deep gratitude that you lost the limb because you have had it and realize that you were able to use it and take it, not take it for granted. And we will have technology in the, in the near future that will eliminate that situation anyway. But it is deep gratitude that plays a impactful rule for all of us through the heart-mind to be in for everything. This is why being in the now is absolutely paramount. And as we get ready to let it all hang out, the real fun is just starting, guys. All this rhetoric, all this, this externalism is just a matrix show. It's the same thing over and over again. And I know that many of you have understood that you, you know what it's like? It's like you're in a movie house and you're watching a movie and you say to yourself, this isn't interesting me at all. You get up and you leave without a second thought. That's what this is. This is a movie that's been bled into the matrix to entertain the slaves of the planet. And the slaves are no longer slaves. They have become conscious. And so very lovingly, they just get up and they walk out. And they understand that they are the God and they move forward. And then they understand that they are the celebration. You see, without us, there really is no main attraction. There's nothing. We keep everything together. Unfortunately, some of us try to uh, eliminate things. We are the party. You are the party. Understand what that means. The more you can celebrate every precious day of your life, the bigger the welcome home party you'll have in the end. And I'm not talking about the Matrix welcome home party. So if you will, go to the place where you're not going to be interrupted, which I'm sure most of you are. First thing that we all want to do is to relax our bodies. This is a practice that, that, that exercises like Tai Chi, quite gone. Yoga, help the body do. Many of us don't take the time. I don't have time to do that. I'm too busy with this. I'm too busy trying to support my family. I'm too busy making a living. I'm too busy adding more stress to my, my body. To so relax the body. And as you relax the body, only you know where you harbor your stress. And you may not think you do, but there are parts of your body that always give you issues, where you have pain, where you have stress. Could be your neck, could be the right side, could be the left side, could be the back of the neck. Could be the head with migraine headaches. It, it could be the feet, the toes, the arches, the heel. It's, there's, it's many places. So all you do, people say, well, how do I know where I hold my stress? All you do is you go around the body, your body, and explore certain areas, you will find it. When I have done Reiki on people, 
you always find the distress in the body. You always find it. And it's a, uh, it's a process of knowing who you are, knowing your body. Just let it all go. Use the hot air balloon. You want that thing to soar as high as it can go. You are not going to do it if you are carrying all that stress, anxiety, and fear. It's not going to go anywhere. Okay? And we hold on to this stuff like it's our blanket. It's our comforter. We've got to let it go. No matter how discomforting it may be for some of us, we must let it go. The only way that balloon is going to soar high. And we're going to want to move into the now. And the now, for those to this meditation, this now circle light, the now is everything. In the now, we create our future. The past is in the now. The moment, the now, and the future. It's what we do in this very moment that begins to create our future. You see, that's how we should be very mindful of our thoughts. Understand who and what we are. When we move into the now, we still the mind. We still the ego mind. Yeah, you'll have the chatter. You'll have the subconscious ego mind coming at you constantly. But guess what? In the now, you aren't wandering off into the past or wondering what your future is going to be. And we, this is what we do incessantly, and we never stay in the now. The very moment we're in, we're always doing off, you know, into the future or the past. But in the now, we still the mind brings us into peace. That's what Siddhartha did. That's what Buddha did. That's what Maitreya did. That's what they all have done. Find the sacredness of space and just be. Now, as we relax the body and we're in the now, we're going to want to breathe. And we want to breath in through the nose and breath out through the mouth. Nice, healthy, comfortable breath in through the nose. Nice, healthy, comfortable breath out through the mouth. And as we breath in through the nose, we want to hold it 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and then breath out through the mouth. And we want to do this at least six times while I'm talking. For those of you who are new to this meditation, uh, in this now, in the circle of light. The reason we hold our breath is we focus ourselves on our breathing through the heart mind. Not the head, the heart. Remember that. Not the head, the heart. You say that to yourself. Not the head, the heart. And when we do this, it keeps us in the now. When we stray from the now, because we all do, because we're such in the habit of not being in the now. But when we're straight from the now, we'll know it. It's the, the great thing is, is that, okay, I'm not there. I'm going into the future. I'm going into the past. So you, you discipline yourself and you say, I'm going to concentrate on my breathing through the heart-mind. And as I listen to my breathing, a calmness comes over me. And as I listen to my breathing... I focus in the now, because the breath is the now. That's all it ever is. At night when we're sleeping or we try to sleep and we can't, we turn into focusing on the breathing and the breath. And eventually, all of that chatter will vanish and you'll be able to go to sleep. Same with the morning. Always in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes. Always without fail, no matter what goes on outside of you. Now, as we're breathing in through the nose, we're breathing in divine positive energy. This is from source creation. And it is in all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond it forever. It's from the collective consciousness of the universe. So as this comes in, it communicates through our God, through our heart mind. It doesn't go through the ego mind. And as it does this, it communicates with us. We are the party. We are the
the celebration. Everybody says, when's the celebration coming? We are the celebration. We are the party. And without us, there is no main attraction. So, understand that. The source creates that to us. No matter where it comes from, it's, it is being communicated to the civilization of this planet. Enough is enough to live in the doldrums of a matrix. We care not to participate any longer. We are moving forward. The lower frequencies can end up feeding on themselves. We are moving forward. We are the party. We are the celebration. We are the main attraction. And that is from the heart mind, not the ego mind. Now as we breath out, we're breathing out all of the habits that we have held on to throughout our lives. Habits. Doing the same thing and expecting different results. Doing the same thing over and over again. And expecting different results. We break those habits. We eliminate them. And as we eliminate those habits, we become lighter. Some of them are, are discomforting to let go of. They really are, because we've grown such accustomed to them. You know, it's like the dog on the porch. You lay on the nail long enough, then you're just going to sit there and not move. And then you just have the nail in you. And that's why when you try to lift yourself off the nail, it's discomforting because it's going to hurt. And it's going to cause confusion and disappointment and all kinds of things will rush in through the ego mind. But once we let go, and that uneasy feeling is gone, it vaporizes. We have no fear. Fear is an illusion. And so when, when that happens to all of us, when we really, really ascend out of fear, that means we literally are in charge over the ego mind. See? And the subconscious. And guess what, guys? We're in charge of our genes. We're in charge of everything. We really are. Source gave us that. So, remember that we are, we are one with the heart mind. This is where we sit. This is where our command center is. This is our mastership and commandership of our light ships. And as we are in the heart mind, we merge with the God within us, the kingdom of God. And we're all one. And that includes the archangels who are with us right now. Without calling them, they are with us always. The archangels, the cherubim, the seraphim, the archetypes, all of them, they vibrate at a different frequency than we do. We're at a lower frequency in third density. And they've been with us since the beginning. And they're all of the highest, deepest, eternal love from the highest, deepest, eternal love. They support us. They love us. They're part of us. We're part of them. Their gods are with our gods. Our gods are with theirs. They're in the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. As we are in the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And we're all one and we're all love. Same with the Ascended Masters. They're with us all the time. We don't need to call them. Kwan Yen, Maitreya, Lakshmi, Ganesh. Buddha. Gaia. St. Germain, Sananda, Jesus, Amoria. Thought. Hell. Abundantia. All just many, many, many were ascended masters. We have ascended several times. We are now back in body. They are out of body. And they're all with us. We 
because they're all part of us and we're all part of them. They are the highest, deepest, eternal love from the highest, deepest, eternal love. They were in the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We're in the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We're all one and we're all love. No debating. Arm in arm, hand in hand, we form our circle of light around the equator of this planet Earth. She's exuberate. She's in exuberation and celebration that we are aware and that we are conscious and that we respect life as the highest value and all that there is ever, has been, ever, will be, ever, beyond and forever. Our fire light, the true God light, from all of source creation, is what lights the circle. It literally floods this entire planet in on, above and below. It encages us all in spheres of impenetrable high, high, high frequency of deep eternal love. This is such a high frequency that we're encased in is that nothing of a low frequency, manipulative, trans, trans-dimensional, any form, any being, any carrying any malcontent or deception or wishing to do harm upon us cannot sustain itself in such a high frequency. It cannot. It cannot maintain its presence for very long at all. It must exit because of the fact it would literally vanish its beingness. So we are all protected 24-7. When you let the ego mind loose and it's controlling you, it's trying to convince you that you are not protected. Okay? Fear. So we're all joined and we float. As we elevate ourselves above the planet, we float above our heads. Effortlessly. You know, it's like in the hot air balloon, the higher you get, the more you see. Well, as outside the body, the more we see, the more we literally feel through the heart, mind, and the kingdom of God. As we're doing this, we all, all of us right now, the ascended masters and the archangels, we call out to all the light energy beings who are in all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever. And only those who are of the highest, deepest, eternal love from the highest, deepest, eternal love can join us in this meditation, in this now, in this circle of life. They're in full compassion, non-judgment, and non-ego stillness, generosity, humbleness, peace, joy, bliss. Tranquility and benevolence, and they come in the Googaplexes. Google, one Googaplex fill this universe. Several Googaplexes fill several universes. They're coming from infinitesimal universes. And they're folding in with us because they're part of us. And we're part of them. So arm in arm, hand in hand, they flock in. Joining us in this now, in this meditation, this circle of life. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. They're of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And we are of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And all of us are one. And all of us are love. And our god light energy is absolutely everywhere. We call upon the inhabitants of Agartha, inner earth hollow earth, beneath earth. All of these civilizations, only those who are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love can join us in this meditation, in this now, in this circle of light. They're in full compassion, non-judgment, non-ego, stillness, generosity, humbleness, peace, 
kindness, benevolence, tranquility, abundance, wealth, prosperity. And they come in, arm in arm, hand in hand, they join us in this now, in this circle of light, in this meditation. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. They are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And we are all one. And we are all one. God light energy is everywhere. We call upon the off worlders. This includes the galactic federations, all of these civilizations. They've been assisting this civilization in its evolution, in its enlightenment, in its ascension. Freeing ourselves from our own self imposed bondage and our own self imposed slavery. Only those who are of the highest, deepest, eternal love from the highest, deepest, eternal love can join us in this meditation, in this now, in this circle of light. They're in full compassion and non-judgment, stillness, non-ego, bliss, joy, kindness, generosity, humbleness, tranquility, benevolence. They come the billions, arm in arm, hand in hand, they join us in this meditation, in this now, in this circle of light. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. They are all one. We together make up one, all of us. And we are all love. And our God light energy is absolutely everywhere. We call upon our loved ones. All of those who have ascended out of body in this lifetime and all lifetimes. And only those who are of the highest, deepest, eternal love from the highest, deepest, eternal love can join us in this meditation, in this now, in this circle of life. They're in full compassion, non-judgment, stillness, non-ego, bliss, joy, kindness, generosity and humbleness, tranquility and benevolence. Abundance, prosperity, wealth, everything. They come arm in arm, hand in hand. They join us in this now, in this meditation, this circle of light. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. And we are of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes, as they are of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And we're all one. We're all love, and our God light energy is everywhere. We call upon all the light energy beings who have decided to be housed in the following forms on, in, above, and below this planet, in this now, in this meditation, this circle of light. Only those who are of the highest, deepest, eternal love from the highest, deepest, eternal love who join us in this meditation, in this now, this circle of light. They are in stillness, non-judgment, non-ego, full compassion, bliss, joy, peace, tranquility, benevolence, generosity, and humbleness. And they come in the trillions, fairies, sprites, elves, dwarves, gnomes, trees, elementals, earth, air, water, fire, mermaid, dolphin, whale, pegasus, unicorn, centaur, minotaur, and many, many, many more. And they come in shapes, sizes, forms, configurations of which we have never seen. They're of the deepest of highest, deepest eternal loves. And 
and they are from the highest, deepest of eternal loves. Arm in arm, hand in hand, they join us in this now, in this meditation, in this circle of light. In total kindness, benevolence, generosity, and humbleness. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. They are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And we are all one and we are all love. And our God light energy is in all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever. We look up and we see our meditative sphere. It's at center circle. We created this sphere. It holds all of our meditations in perpetual motion, active. Hundreds of them, not waning one bit, but growing stronger second by second. It can be seen, heard, and felt, and all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever. You can feel it flood your very essence, your physical form, your body, your God, saturating, flooding, flowing around you, through you, and with you. You, all of us, are the party. We are all the party. We are the celebration. Without us, there is no main attraction whatsoever. This is not the mind-ego communicating with us. This is the heart-mind through the kingdom of God inside each and every one of us. We are the God. It is time that this civilization understands who and what it is. And no longer will we entertain this matrix of illusion and the lowest of low vibrational frequencies that are in only the survival matter frequencies. We no longer wish to entertain them. We move forward. We understand to celebrate every single second of our existence in these bodies. To enjoy, to play, to have fun, relax into ourselves, experience the gods that we are. Goodness, we spend enough time outside of ourselves, we don't ever need to regress back into that frequency, ever. Now that we know what it is. We look down upon this planet and we see all of our brothers and sisters, all life, all the civilization, on and above and below this planet Earth. And they're all part of us because we are all one. We are all source creation. Mother, Father, God, feminine, masculine, prime source, creator, God, all source creation, family. All things are family, all things. That's why we say love all things, love everything. flood this and saturate this because we affect them as they affect us. They are parts of us and we are parts of them. Their gods are with our gods and our gods are with them. On their own, through our intent to their gods, to their kingdom of God, we communicate in the deepest and highest 
of eternal love and the deepest of highest gratitudes. We love them and we send them the love that we are. And in return, eventually, they'll embrace the love that they are. This is how we ascend out of this matrix. The more of us and our own choosing, in our own volition, there is no race. All of us coming together and understanding that we are the kingdom of God, that we are the one, and that we are the party. We are the celebration. We are the main attraction. I'll join you in the meditation and return to